What's up guys, Matt here coming at you with another quick video. Y'all know I'm always playing around with something, right? I mean, if you watch the channel much, you know I'm always doing something stupid. So, um, I just want to show off my tracks. Just something I've been playing with. Um, we do have four wheel steer, four track steer. Um, Y'all never believe that's a stock servo in the back. Glued this servo saver. It actually turns those tracks pretty good. That's the Savox in the front. The 0257 on that one. Uh, the 055, 0255 is a little better in my opinion. But anyways, so I've had these tracks forever. And never had messed with mounting them. And so I just decided let's mount them up. And uh, so it works. The, the tough part really they're not hard to get to work these are the wpl tracks from banggood they're like ten dollars um if you're ordering some other things from banggood it's not too bad to throw them in i would say if you were just buying these loans probably gonna cost you 20 25 bucks to get them shipped and everything but um, if you're buying something else you throw them in you know it's not as bad but the hard part is so i had to drill this out and I'm running the millstone uh, wheel nuts. And so once you drill this out, then the inside has like a little weird hex thing. You have to cut it out a little bit, make it fit a, a normal SCX24 hex. Then the hard part is once you get it on there and you go to take off, these are going to want to just flip and like flop around. So I came up with just a super quick little way to make these work. It's so rigged, but you can see it bolts into my steering knuckle. And then I epoxied these little plastic pieces that I made into the tracks. So to take these off, it's kind of a pain. You do have to take out this screw in your steering knuckle and the wheel nut. So um, it's not something I'm going to want to just switch back and forth with all the time, but probably not something I'm going to run very much either. It probably would do much better... You can see it binds every now and then. That's because I'm running. I still have my overdrive going uh, in my transmitter. So it causes it to bind up a little bit. I didn't want to bother with changing my settings because I'm not going to leave this on there very long. But I may put these on something like this with the brushless setup and just see what it will do. It would be, be interesting. So the reason I put it on here is because you can, you can clear it. It clears everything real well. Um, whereas it's going to get into the body of something like this so anyways i just thought i would show this off a little bit i'm going to take it over to the course and, and see what it'll do tracks are not real useful in my opinion they're you get in spots and they're tipsy um and they just uh, they're just not all that to me but it'd be pretty cool in the snow we might get one half decent snow a year usually around here we got a pretty good snow this year so um, i was a little late on these but let's uh let's take it to the course and check it out so i just had to show you all my life all right so i built this course here and it's right below my attic entrance in the garage <laughs> okay so i had to put some stuff in the attic uh yesterday and this morning and so I've got this big ladder right in the way, but we're just going to work around it.
<laughs> we are totally losing this track. I got this ramp right in the way. I can't believe I haven't broke anything yet. So hard. Okay, so I went ahead and pulled the plug on this before I uh, did break something. I'm surprised I didn't break something already. I can smell my motors and ESCs uh, cooking up like some KFC chicken around here or something. But <laughs> y'all know I'm in Kentucky. I got though at the KFC, right? Uh, funny story. I used to work for a construction company. We were remodeled uh, like the KFC headquarters in Louisville, and uh, so we were always they have like a test kitchen down in the basement they're always testing this chicken and like cooking it all the time every day we used to get so much free chicken it was awesome but <laughs> anyways let's head and tell that story uh so let me know what you think about this i think it might be kind of cool to take it out in a creek and like see what i do in some dirt and, and stuff and just just play around definitely going to put them on something with more power you can see this thing's way underpowered to be running something like this so uh i just want to show y'all what i've been playing with got so much stuff coming up gonna start a upgrade segment hopefully on the kyosho mini z we got a brushless system for it awesome some awesome parts from next racing check this transmission case out Super cool. We've got chassis rails. Should we go green or carbon fiber? The Kyosho Mini Z is finally going to get a little love. We're going to we're going to make that thing work. So um, keep an eye out for that. We have the Fury Tech ESCs going crazy, putting them in everything because they are the bomb. I'm so old. The bomb. Probably nobody says that anymore. But uh, anyways. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click the bell so you get notified when I'm posting all this stupid stuff. Uh, <laughs> definitely for things like this because, uh, you know, I have so many people message me and I, I just can't keep up with letting everybody know, hey, pre-orders are live. I can't go through all the messages and message everybody because I just, I lose track. But I can post it up on my page, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, 2FMRC. And so I, I update on there, you know, a picture of this and say, hey, pre-orders are live, get in line. And that way you get notified. So if you click that bell, you get notified of stuff like this. If you don't click that bell, you don't know. 
So, all right. I appreciate everybody watching. Peace.